Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to play your PlayStation games anywhere in the world with your mobile phone. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So you want to play your PlayStation 5 games, but you're away from your house. Well, using the PlayStation Remote app, you can go ahead and log into your PlayStation remotely. Now this actually works quite well and you can use mobile data or Wi-Fi to connect to your PlayStation. Now, the first thing you need to do to set this up is to go over to your PlayStation and enable remote play. So just on the home screen here, if we go up to the top and then go to settings and select this and then go down to system, then go down to remote play and go over to enable remote play and check mark this. Then you want to go ahead and get the remote play application on your phone and then come back to your PlayStation and go to link device. So let's go to my phone now and get the application. So let's go to the Google Play Store right here and select this and open this up. And this is what the application looks like. It's just called the PlayStation Remote Play. Install this and then open up the application. Then you can connect your controller and your PlayStation. So I already have my PlayStation 5 right here linked, but you can go to other connection and you can set up your PlayStation 4 or another PlayStation 5 right there. And you'll have to sign in with your PlayStation account. Then you can set up a controller right here. Let's do that now. So I'm gonna select the controller and I'm gonna pair this to my PlayStation. Now you can read this entire description on how to put your PlayStation controller into pairing mode, but you pretty much just press the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time and the lights on the back will flash. Then you wanna go ahead and go to your Bluetooth settings right here and make sure Bluetooth is turned on and enable and it's scanning. It should say scan or stop at the top here. Go ahead and just press scan. Now on your controller, press the PlayStation button right here and the share button at the same time. And this will put your controller into the sync mode. And the light on the back now is flashing. If we go over to our phone and scroll down, the device should be found. So let's press scan once again on the top. And there's our wireless controller. Let's press this. And it is now pairing. Now it says pair with wireless controller. Let's go to OK. And we should be able to use our controller now on your phone. So I'm using the D-pad to go down. Now we can switch back over to the application, remote play. So our controller is now set up. We can go to the settings in the upper right and we can select this. And then we can go to video quality for remote play, mobile data. So let's go to mobile data right here. It says use mobile data. We can check mark this on. Then this one's up to you. Notify me when using mobile data then video quality for streaming. Now, if you do have a bandwidth limit, you might wanna go ahead and put this to low or standard. If you have an uh, unlimited plan, go ahead and go to best or high, and you can kind of see the amount of data it uses per hour of streaming. So about seven gigabytes is quite a bit. So let's go back now. Now we have to link our PlayStation to the application here. So to link our device, if we are connected to the same internet and then search for our PlayStation 5, this will automatically connect us. So if we are on the same Wi-Fi, so if I go to Wi-Fi right now and I just connect to that and I go to PlayStation 5, I should be able to find my PlayStation. But if you're on the mobile data, you may have to go ahead and connect via like device link. So let's go back over to my PlayStation right now and go to link device. And it says start the remote play application on the computer, mobile phone, PS5 or PS4 you want to link and then enter the following number on the screen. So if you are searching for a PlayStation for the first time, if you don't connect via Wi-Fi, you should be able to enter in this code right here and it'll link your devices together. So once your PlayStation is linked, you can decide if you want to turn on or off Wi-Fi. So I'm going to do this example with a mobile connection and then go to ps5 or other connection and start searching for your device so let's go to ps5 right now and select this 
and says remote play uses a lot more data than most video streaming services data charges may apply let's go to okay so i can be on the go right now i could be in the car on a vacation i can be sitting on a beach etc and i could be connecting to my playstation remotely so this is what the application looks like it's pretty simple you just have your playstation and you have your thumbsticks down here if you aren't using your controller but I do have my controller connected, which makes moving around a little bit easier and plain. Then right in the center of the screen, you do have a mic mute button. So you have all the buttons, then you have settings down here. You can select that if you want to go ahead and disconnect at any point in time. Then you have your options button, your PlayStation button, and your share button down here as well. Now I've noticed when I'm playing over Wi-Fi, this is definitely playable in multiplayer games like Call of Duty. And there is a slight input delay, but you can get used to it, especially if you're connected over the 5G connection and your PlayStation is connected to a LAN cable at your house. So it will take some time to get used to, but in single player games with a good connection, I don't see you really having any problems. And the game, when it streams, it looks pretty good. As you can see in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, it may be a little bit green for you guys viewing. I do have like blue screen filters on right now, so my eyes don't hurt. Also, another reason why I love remote play is I can be somewhere else and I can connect to my PlayStation to turn on. And if there's a game download that I want to go ahead and get, well, it's going to go ahead and download that. So go ahead and get this application and test it out for yourself. You may like it just for some other factors like turning on your PlayStation and getting downloads ready. Or maybe you just want to go ahead and connect to a game and start playing when you're on the go on vacation or something. Now since your controller is connected to your phone via Bluetooth, your light bar may stay on. But to turn off your controller when it's connected, it's very easy. All you have to do is hold down the PlayStation button for like 10 seconds and your controller will go ahead and turn off as you can see on the light bar in a few seconds here. But this will disconnect it and save you battery life so you don't have to go into the phone settings and specifically disconnect it. Just go ahead and do that. And you'll be good to go. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your 6 Gaming.